What's poppin' and welcome back to another video. Today is a Saturday in the middle of April and I'm about to do some coding. I've been working out in the morning, doing some cleaning etc. So it's about 12 o'clock now and we're gonna get coding. We have a couple of issues that we wanna do today. So for example, we have a laggy like button that we wanna fix. We have a slider that's kinda broken and kinda laggy. Everything on the audio page basically is laggy. Then we have some other stuff like for example when you favorite the song or you want to rebuild the home page etc etc. So we have about three hours because at around 3.30 a beast will arrive here, namely my parents' dog that I'm going to be looking after for the rest of the day. So we're probably not going to get too much done uh, once he arrives because he's a wild boy and he's going to want to walk, he's going to want to play, he's going to want to chew up my couch, you know. So we're going to try to get as much stuff as we can done before that, so let's get to it. So I got to work and one of the issues that I've been having for a long time, like I mentioned in the intro, is the like button and everything which is on the audio page really is super laggy. So for some reason when you're on the audio page and you press play for example, there's a bit of lag before you can see that whole thing. Then there's also lag when you press forward and when you press backward and when you change the slider. And that's been quite annoying for me and it's also been something which has been mentioned in every single user test that I've done. Every single beta test, even the alpha test, so it's been an issue ever since I started the app. So. Today the main mission was to fix this and to make sure that the slider doesn't lag and that you can press forward, you can press play, you can press backward and it will not lag on you. So I, to start off with this I had to do some adjustments to the main page, essentially I had to rebuild the whole page to begin with so that I had the latest audio data available because I thought that this was one of the issues that for example you load the page or you load the app itself and then you don't really have the latest up to date audio data on the view page. So I tried doing that first, didn't really work out, had to do a lot of googling to, to find my way around this and like go back to my old old stuff to make sure that I had done the right stuff previously etc etc. So I was browsing github and all that but then I found out okay I don't think this is the issue let's move on to the audio page itself. So after doing a lot of stuff uh, on the main or the main runner of the app I moved on to the audio page itself because I thought okay maybe this is the actual issue. Which later on, spoiler alert it turned out to be. So basically in Flutter there's a lot of stuff or a lot of things which you have to do in order to handle the state. And what I had done here was an example of ha handling the state very poorly. Basically whenever I loaded the audio I didn't change the state. Whenever I loaded the like button I didn't change the state. So it was essentially a stateless widget inside of a stateful widget if that makes sense. So whenever I pressed the like button for example it had to rebuild the whole entire screen in order for it to work. So basically I was resetting the state of the entire app just to change the state of one little component on it, if that makes sense. And I found a workaround of it, around this by watching a YouTube tutorial and then like you see here, building the audio page from scratch to just see okay, how have other people done it, what can I find here, what can I replicate here, what can I learn from other people. And this is usually a very good strategy I found that if you kind of feel lost somewhere and you know you don't really know where to go, usually watching like YouTube on one screen, like you can see here my screen's empty, but I promise you I was watching a lot of YouTube on that screen and you know reading up on Google. So I found that this really helped because there's a lot of smart people out there and this is what's kind of cool about the whole programming community. I didn't really know this prior to beginning this whole app journey, but there's so many people out there who know a lot about different things and that's kind of why this whole world works and why it goes around because there's a p lot of people who have different expertise and they are very good at what one particular thing so you can always find someone who kind of knows their one particular thing and here I happen to find, the, find a YouTube tutorial which had like a thousand views of someone showing exactly how they had done this audio thing so I just kind of copied with pride there and I managed to rebuild it and essentially what it was going back to the whole state thing that I mentioned earlier was that before I was not resetting the state, so it turned out to be quite a simple solution actually, but before I was not resetting the state when I was pressing this, these buttons, and it was just resetting the state automatically as the audio progressed. However, the audio progresses at like a second interval, so the slider moves a second each time, meaning that it would only reset after one second and therefore it seemed very laggy. But I, what I did was that I wrapped the whole function, or I made a whole new function for the like button and for the slider, so that now when you move the slider for example and when you press the like button or the back button or the forward button it will actually reset the state of that particular widget so it will reset the slider widget for example or it will reset and rebuild the it will play button that entire widget so that turned out to be a good solution so now I kind of have a better state management than I did before so I'm really happy about that and now there's no lag on the audio page anymore 
after this, the beast arrived and I couldn't cope. So after the dog left, I pretty much just went to bed because although he was exhausted at the end, so was I. A lot of outdoor stuff, I'm not really used to that, I'm you know, sitting in the inside of my office, I'm not really used to all that fresh air, but oh well. So now we're on Sunday, and on Sunday I didn't really do too much, I had a good workout and then I just spent the rest of the day doing some research for what's coming up for the rest of the app. And I also spent the time planning the next week. So I do this every week. I like throw on a YouTube video or something like that. And then I just plan my week out. All the tasks I need to do for each day. If I have any special things that are happening etc etc. I find that this helps keep me motivated. And it helps keep my life structured. Which I like a lot. Okay it's like 10 o'clock on a Sunday evening. I have work tomorrow. So I'm gonna end the video there. I don't really know what I've been filming this weekend, but I've been doing a lot of stuff. I've been doing a lot of coding. We've solved a lot of problems. And what's really exciting is that we've solved all the, all the issues. We've solved the liking issues. We've solved all of the building our list issues. Basically, we've solved all the issues we can solve. Okay, not like world hunger, etc., etc. But you know, kind of like what we can do, what we can control. So I'm really happy about that. We've made a lot of progress. And today I haven't really done much work. Because I had a lot of admin stuff to do, I did some like bookkeeping for example, that always has to be done month by month. I also did some general like Instagram planning for my, one of the companies that I work with. So that was something which I have to do kind of every weekend or once every two weeks, you know, just to plan the content that I'm going to put out, etc. But what's really exciting now is if you look at my gyro board, which I'm not going to show you because I can tell you, you can trust me. There's one issue left on the gyro board and that is to fix the payment module. So. What we have to do now is we have to make it possible for people to pay through the app and we have to, you know, build the whole subscription thing. I'm a bit worried about this because I'm so worried that I'm going to charge someone like $10,000 all of a sudden by mistake. It's like the biggest fear of my life. I have nightmares, tremors about this kind of stuff. No, not really, but I'm, I'm quite worried about that whole part of it and, you know, the VAT, the taxes, depending on the country that we're in. I don't want to break any international law. I'm not looking to be an international criminal here. So that's what I kind of have ahead of me this week and then next weekend we're going to get to just that. So next weekend there's one mission there's no I've told myself and I've told my friends that I can't leave my apartment I can physically not get out of here until I have finished the app and I've finished the app when I've added a payment module after that we're done we're ready to start the whole marketing review the legalities publish on the app store etc etc so really exciting stuff With that said I'm not really sure how much I filmed I think uh, yeah I have no clue how much I filmed this video so this could be two minutes it could be four minutes it could be 15 minutes I have no clue but as usual, thank you so much for watching. If you want to continue following this journey, then please subscribe, leave a like down below, support me, motivate me, help me out a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.